Hi and welcome to the alphascanner.com. What I want to do today is take you through a tour of some of the premium uh, services available to subscribers of the Alpha Scanner. Obviously if you've seen Alpha Scanner before you know that the resources and other uh, pages avail are available there but what you won't see is what's available to the subscribers and that's these two tabs which are uh, labeled quadrants and scanner. This is really well the other the resources are there to assist you in your decision making process as far as where your price targets might be or your um uh, overall trade plan what this does is help you find the actionable ideas each and every day based on where a stock is in its overall life life cycle that is based on uh looking at stages uh, that is the stage one accumulation stage two markup stage three distribution or stage four decline so what we have here is obviously a stage two uptrend we're gonna focus on looking for long ideas so these four quadrants here what we see on this home page are we have basically stage two uptrending stocks stage four declining stocks these are good candidates for for uh, selling short or buying puts or other uh, option strategies that will get you bearish exposure and then we have neutral stocks and that might not sound too appealing at first but uh, to, to certain people those are types of stocks that uh, you know maybe you're looking for a breakout candidate or doing some uh, premium writing of options and then you have the more volatile stocks these are stocks that are trading big volume and big volatility each day so that's more for a day trader but what we want to look at here and of course a day trader could look at any of these quadrants and find opportunity what we're looking at though is it's broken down the bullish that is we have 50 you see 10 results here on the home page there's actually 50 of them and if we look you'll see that here we have 50 bullish candidates basically now just because JDAS is number one on the list on this particular day doesn't mean it's the best candidate for gains the next day but what this tool allows you to do is to take a look and anywhere on either the quadrants homepage or on this uh, more detailed page where we have the the top 50 and let's just go back to the uh, quadrants anywhere you click on any of these symbols what you'll see is our proprietary charts which show you the price uh, we've got volume down below. This is just out of range of the camera, but uh, we have most uniquely what stage is the stock in? Two one being a, st a strong markup, basically. So these are the candidates. You know, these are potential candidates that you would look at and say, you know, is this XEC look like maybe a nice pullback and an opportunity to continue to move higher? So you can go, you know, flip through them one by one, and you can see it's a nice quick. Uh, platform here that we've built that uh, has these charts on it so you can quickly identify those opportunities or you can export them into an Excel spreadsheet and uh, manipulate manipulate the data that, uh, in the way that you want if you were looking for a bearish uh, opportunity then you would click on the symbol over here and you'd see that we've got stocks that are in downtrends and a lot of these the way that it's programmed is that they've recently experienced maybe a, a low volume rally so that these could be highly actionable ideas it's not a list you don't want to go looking at this and saying okay well there's 50 stocks for me to buy and 50 stocks for me to sell short it helps narrow it down so you can cherry pick and find the best ones that suit your personal strategy and and uh, the way that you approach the market so if you were looking at neutral stocks and these would be either stage one or stage three we could take a look at DOX and you can see here's a stage three stock Here's another, uh, you know, the, a lot of trusts in here. Obviously, these are stocks that are basically, you know, not doing a whole lot. If you're looking for the more active day trading type stocks, then you would look in here. You would look in, and again, these are based on volume and volatility. Uh, these these charts here, uh, the the stocks that come up in here, and they're going to be in any one of the four stages, really. So if you if you found out that you maybe liked one of these charts and you wanted to just quickly know, hey, what does FLIR do, Systems do? You could click on the name of the company, and you'll see it brings you over to the profile page of Yahoo Finance, so you can quickly get an idea of what they do and that sort of thing. Uh, and by the the way on this uh, the, the real uh feature here that I think is most valuable that most people are going to find the most valuable is the scanner so what we have on the scanner is pretty unique right now what we have is the opportunity to, to scan on two different time frames a weekly chart and a daily chart so we've broken the four stages down into 
12, uh, 12 stages overall. So each stage, the markup has a uh, strong markup, medium, and, and a weakening one. Uh, typically, you're going to see that uh, the weakening ones are then going to, you know, in a couple weeks, head into that distribution as they follow that uh, stock, you know, that life cycle that we see so so common. Now, it doesn't always occur exactly. It's not a dance step. It's not two one, two two, two three. 3 1, it might go from 3 1 back to stage uh, uh, 2 if the stock breaks out. But the point is here, what we can do is we'll clear the weekly stages and we'll clear the daily stages and we'll create a, a scan right now to show you how this works. So let's say we're only interested in. Or let's say we didn't care what what stock the what stage the stock was in on a weekly time frame. And by the way, what's coming uh, soon is the ability also to scan on intraday data. This is all based on end of day uh, data. But what we'll do is we'll have a feature here that allows you to search for intraday patterns. That is, over the last 15 days uh, on on 10 minute time frame, show me maybe a, a stock that's just uh, pulled back in a stage two uptrend and might be ready to to reemerge. So that's going to be an exciting uh, addition here. But for now, this is still pretty unique that we have two different time frames that we can uh, scan stocks on uh, simultaneously. So we might say, you know, it doesn't matter to me what stage the stock is in on a weekly time frame. Show me all the stage, strong, all the markups on the daily time frame. So we could submit that, and you can see we have some other things we can uh, search for as well, such as price, uh, average daily volume. That's a 20-day moving average, by the way. And this, by the, this uh, uh, scanner searches 7,700 individual equities and ETFs. So we have right now 163 stocks that meet this criteria. Um, now, what we would want to do maybe is narrow that down and say, let's just take a look at the ones that are priced uh, 10 to $50 a share. So if we submit that, we've gone from 163 to 113 stocks. Maybe a dividend is important to you. Maybe you're looking for at least 2% dividend yield. So if we click Submit, you can see how quickly we were able to reduce that down to 33 stocks. Now, what we want can do is you can see the results right in here. You can get them as just a symbol only or export them or what we can do is we can click on any one of these headers here for instance PE if that was really very important to you you could say show me the highest or you know obviously you click it again the lowest PE so you could say first financial bank corp if we click on first financial bank corp up pops the chart and we can start to look at these now they are based on um, uh, PE ratio. If we were interested in the highest dividend yields, we click that. Now we'd see AINV comes right to the top. And the next one, uptrending stock with a big dividend, is New York Community Bank Corp. So it allows you to quickly go in and customize a search based on what you're looking for. Maybe you're interested in stocks priced two to ten bucks a share uh, that trade two hundred thousand to uh, five hundred thousand shares a day um, I don't think we're gonna get many well, we got five of them which is kinda surprising um, but there's five of them that have at least a uh, a, uh, a dividend of, of two percent here so maybe you would be looking at, at Gladstone Capital um, to me it's a little extended you wanna though maybe keep this on your watch list the point is this whole scanner is designed to help assist you and find the ideas that are right for you based on the way that you look at the, the market, what you're looking for. And we're going to add a whole bunch of real cool features here, such as short interest, earnings dates, uh, ETFs only, leveraged ETFs, and some really other cool, exciting things that I hope you guys are going to like. So this was meant as a quick overview. And uh, if you have questions, uh, you can send them to alphascanner at gmail.com or sign up for uh, a webinar, which will be conducted once a month, and uh, most questions will be answered in that format. Thanks.